Hi folks, this is a quick overview of the real estate CRM that we've developed in partnership with Zoho. So uh, as you can see, we're here on the main home login screen and you can configure this dashboard to show whatever open tasks or deals are closing this month, perhaps a pipeline at your stage of uh, what you expect to bring in. Uh, you can also pull in uh, other related lists or dashboards, reports from the reporting module as well. Next tab over is the activity tracking module. This is where you can see any calls or tasks or events that you have coming up. The contacts module is where you're going to be putting in all of your clients. Uh, obviously, you can see a, a few folks that we have here. You can also see the tasks that we have coming up for them. So if I were to click into 20 stocks record, here I can see everything uh, at a glance. Uh, basic contact information, I can see I'm working on this deal with him that's expected to close on June 30th. I can see the next uh, action, I need to get some listing details to him. And I can also quickly see what communication I've had with him uh, by clicking on any of these sections here to the left. I can see text messages that I've sent, emails, the deal that I'm working on, and uh, if I go and connect to social profiles, I'll be able to see his uh, social activity as well. Uh, at a glance, we can also uh, take notes on this particular contact record, uh, see where that lead uh, or that contact uh, has come into us from, in this case, a referral from Ellen. And uh, we can also see uh, this contact's portal login information for uh, his client portal where you can view all of the listings and follow along with the transaction as well. Now, the way that you'll set up a uh, transaction for a client, if uh, Tony comes to us looking to purchase a new property, what we're going to go ahead and do is kick off a deal. So we'll go here to our deal module, we'll create a deal for him, and in this case it's going to be a purchase. Uh, the different uh, sales stages can be customized uh, by you, the agent, to uh, configure whatever sales stages you would like and uh, uh, then bring in the relevant deal information. So in this case, we can bring in a lot of the purchase agreement info so that we can do a mail merge into a contract template to really help uh, speed the transaction cycles. Uh, we have some of the property information here that he's purchasing. We sucked in the Zillow information as well. And uh, now we can see that as part of this deal for this property that he ended up purchasing, he actually took a look at three different listings. So here are the different uh, listings that uh, he uh, took a look at. We can see here uh, through the portal, he marked one as uh, it wasn't for him. This one he was undecided on. He liked the gated community. And this one he ultimately ended up going for because he could put a helipad in the back. So this is where we can get feedback from clients to see uh, what they're thinking about the various properties, ultimately which one they want to move forward with, have all of that information map over here to the deal record so we can then uh, do a mail merge and bring it all into the contract template. So if you want to uh, go ahead and uh, put together an offer uh, for this particular deal, we can go ahead and click this button to do a mail merge. It asks us to select the contract template that we'd like to merge this information into. And now it's just a matter of setting up your template so that it pulls in the correct fields with these tokens. And uh, uh, you can make any tweaks or changes to the agreement as you need to. Hit this button over here to uh, complete the merge and you're good to go. It's basically going to merge in all of the information from that record. At that point, you'll be able to save it as a PDF and attach it back to that client record. Here, it's uh, doing that merge for us. So we can see that it's uh, pulled in some of uh, that information from the deal record, and now we can continue to edit this as needed. And then uh, uh, we have the ability to send it for electronic signature through Zoho Sign or download it as a PDF for wet signing as well. Um, other things that you'll notice over here, if we want to add in additional listings, uh, we can either click this plus button or go to the listings module. These are all the listings that we've earmarked for a particular client. Whenever you create a new listing, we'll pop in the client's name. So let me just add a listing here for Charlie Sheen. We can pop in the uh, address.
all we need is that address. And now what's going to happen is uh, you can see here in the timeline, there are a bunch of webhooks doing the work in the background that are going to bring in uh, some data here from Zillow. So we can see it brought in all of the Zillow information for this property. We can then add in the MLS listing URL um, and say that we're recommending this for the particular client. And we'll associate this with Charlie Sheen's uh, uh, deal. Now, when he logs in, he'll be able to see this particular property, add in any of his notes, update the status of uh, what he thinks, and uh, then we'll be able to uh, transact one of these properties um, like we just did with Tony. Now, if you want to add any announcements um, uh, to the client portal, you can go here to this announcements tab and just uh, click to add a new record. And uh, let's just do a happy June. We can post this as of June 1. We want to show it in the portal. Click Save. Now, if we hop over to the uh, portal and go to the home page here, all of those announcements are going to show on the home page as we showed in uh, the previous video on the full client portal. But it's very quick and easy to show uh, announcements, or if you want to take it down, just deselect the show in portal as well. Now, uh, we'll go over in a separate video, Zoho Social, to do all of your social media management uh, within Zoho. Uh, we have the ability to add in various brokerages, so as we start to associate buyers and sellers, uh, two transactions. We can know which brokerages and which agents they're working with. And uh, then we have our reporting tab for slicing and dicing all of our transaction data, uh, finding out which uh, referral channels are bringing us the most business. We have our vendor tab. This is where you can add in uh, resources for uh, your clients, whether it's going to be a plumber, perhaps an appraisal company, title company, any vendors that you add in here and select to show in the uh, portal will be available here under the resources section for your clients. So um, you can send business to your network and your clients can help uh, uh, get the best service out there. Now you'll also notice that we have the Zillow tab. If you want to search a particular property, you can just type in the address here and it'll bring up all the Zillow record and hyperlink to uh, Zillow itself. And then we have a couple other tabs here. The Catalyst Connect tab is for uh, text messages. That's where all text messages get logged in the CRM against the contact record. And then we have our transaction stages. So you may find that you want to customize your transaction stages for a buyer versus a seller. This is where you can add in those additional stages so that uh, when the client logs in and they want to follow along with this particular transaction, they can uh, see exactly where they are in the process and what's going on. Now, there's a lot more that uh, Zoho can do and that we've configured for uh, the real estate use case. I uh, would love the opportunity to hop onto a demo with you folks and dive a little deeper please feel free to schedule a consult and I'll see you then.